Hi Gemini, so I hope you're all doing well in today's reading, what we're looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Uh, this is amazing. Um, this person's overall energy, we have the star. Some of you are meeting someone through mutual friends, you're networking through acquaintances, some group setting, and others of you, star, technology, social media, online. I see you getting a lot of attention. But there's one specific energy coming through that feels like you're the one. Some of you don't know this person. You're manifesting them. Two of Swords. Five of Swords. If this is a past person, there may have been some arguments here um, some stubbornness you know no communication both holding back and this person wants to heal things with you after a period of separ separation i'm seeing someone ignoring the other especially this person maybe giving you the silent treatment we have aquarius energy back to back how they're viewing you we have strength nine of swords they feel like you're stressed out because they're holding back communication but they also feel that you're not reaching out. You want to, but you're restraining yourself. Why is this? Yeah, that you're on a break, Four of Swords. You're healing, but you overthink. They, they feel that you think about them a lot. And you're physically very attracted to them. But there may be some trust issues here. How they're feeling about you? Five of Wands in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're ignoring... Some of them not responding to your text messages if it's someone from your past. It's a very bitter, closed off energy holding on to a resentment. Perhaps something you said in the past or an argument between the both of you. If it's someone new, then it can be that they're a bit jaded here when it comes to their love life. They may have cut out a few energies. They're just, they're fed up. Yeah, they're fed up with situations that lack substance. But if it's a past person, they're not communicating, they're holding back. Why is Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, this person's so done. They've cut out a player, someone that was playing mind games with them. They're emotionally manipulative. They may have been cheated on. This person's healing, they're recovering. Especially if it's someone new. And others of you, this person was. Perhaps, you know that mentality, grass is greener on the other side. I want to explore what else is out there. Moon is the unknown. You know, it could, could have been someone who involved you in a third party. So they cut you off. Three of Wands, yeah, grass is greener on the other side. There was deception here. But this person wants to apologize or make things right. In their intentions, we have Ten of Swords in reverse, Six of Pentacles, upright. So I'm getting past and new, and you will have to rely on your intuition here. Um, Gemini. So I'll give you both interpretations. If it's a past person, they're saying they're sorry. Um, they'll be wanting to apologize and give to this, right? Make things right. They want to be fair when it comes to the situation. So you can expect a message or some gesture from them, right? A lot of you an apology, a message. And if it's a new person, again, I mentioned what they've been dealing with. They're fed up. And they're healing, Ten of Swords in reverse. And they will be getting to know you. They're keeping things casual, lighthearted, and wanting to get to know you better. What action they'll be taking? The Lovers, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups in reverse. So if you haven't met this person, once they do meet you, I don't see them keeping their options open. You're the one they want. This is true love here, Gemini. If you know this person, they're saying, I don't want to explore my options. I regret what I've done, and you're the one I want. You're the one. There's someone here, Gemini, that is saying, Gemini, you're the one I want to be with. I don't want anyone else. Ten of Swords, Universe, Empress. Yeah, they want to nurture this. They want to have children with you. Some of them want to work together with you. They're saying we're compatible. I can see spending my life with you. That is the vibe I'm getting here. Wow. This is major. In your feelings, we have two of wands, ten of wands. 
you're also looking in the direction of this person so you're wanting to come together make plans some of you you meet them online there may be distance so you have to plan to see them you're very busy if you haven't met them around the time you meet them you'll be very busy you have a lot on your plate so you will have to go out of your way to sort of accommodate this situation but you're you're feeling hopeful why is two of wands here for how gemini will be feeling ten of cups yeah you see happiness with this person happily happily ever after happy home you feel like you've met your match two of wands again you've you've picked a direction you both choose each other that is what i'm getting why is ten of wands here for how gemini will be feeling four of swords seven of wands some of you may let me see this because I'm getting the same cards over and over again there may be two situations here uh, Gemini which is why there's two pathways and one of those situations is feeling heavy it feels like a burden that you don't want to be a part of you're almost at your wits end here you feel like giving up so there may be two energies or two pathways you're dropping a situation and you're moving towards happiness you're happily ever after we have a lot of tens coming through so that talks about endings and new beginnings it's a completion a lot of you i feel this is new love your best course of action ace of wands they're saying go for it right you're holding that wand here that that's the best course of action move forward in life go where your passions take you pick the direction that feels inspiring right but they don't want you to sit back they want you to pick a direction and move forward in your outcome we have queen of wands nine of wands in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse magician upright yeah this may be a situation in your past that wasn't moving forward it was stuck and there's a sense of giving up right and then there's a new energy that you're manifesting this queen of wands is you you're you're embodying aries leo sagittarius uh, throughout me especially when it comes to your love life you're feeling very charged up you're ready to make things happen you're ready for change and you'll be creating that change you're a powerful manifester you're manifesting forward movement because there's been stagnancy here with a specific situation why is i want a magician again do you see the repeating cards we have Gemini Virgo coming through. Yeah, you're you're getting out of your head here and you're ready. You're 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 not waiting around for anyone or anything. Right? You're feeling stuck, you're coming out of that. Eight of Swords in reverse. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll be dating, you're getting to know new people. Some of you were put in a third party here. Few of you because it's a general reading, I have to mention this. I will be getting oracle cards as well for confirmation, but um, there may be a past person that you give up on and they're back around to communicate and things can really work out, right? Because if it was someone that was keeping their options open, now they've made that decision that you're the one they want. They're happy with you or they see happiness here if you two were to be together. A lot of this is in your hands, Gemini, if you want to move forward or not. You're the magician. What can Gemini expect in their love life May 2022? Healing heart. So some of you are healing, but this person was wanting to heal things with you. Yeah, look, manifesting what you want. We have number 37 coming through. We have games being played which is why you put an end to this. You establish better boundaries. I don't see game playing here, but it could have been past energy. I do see silent treatment or someone not communicating. What can Gemini expect? 
look at that new love will find you four four something that's stable someone you can move in with it can be long term i see stability i see this i felt this queen of cups lovers it can be a gemini um, that you're attracting it can be a cancer pisces scorpio and we also had aquarius energy this person is very loving you'll be the center of their attention their world and some of you past person they also want you back five five they're ready to make changes in their behavior so exactly what i was telling you some of you i'm getting past some of you new but we have divine timing asking you out on a date trust the plan yeah, you're dating, you're putting yourself out there, you'll be meeting someone amazing. Don't give up. We have obstacles ahead, 555. Five, five. We have 4-4, four, four. we have 555. Five, five. Becoming a better person. And you're saying no second chances, and others of you, when you least expect it, you've, you're giving up on a situation, and they come back around, they're transforming. Five also represents changes. They want you back. They realize what they lost out on. That will be for a few of you and others of you. You're evolving. You're becoming a better person. You're making healthier choices. You're healing your heart. Any traumas and new love, healthy love, is making its way to you. I'd have to say this is the best reading. Seriously, amazing. This person that you're attracting will only have eyes for you. Look, trust. Trust the plan. Love is in the air. Look, marriage. They're saying stop waiting. Don't wait for anyone or anything. I'm telling you. Love is in the air, but you must have enough courage to trust and look past what you've been through. They will not lead you astray. This next person, they're trustworthy. You can depend on them. They won't lead you astray. There may be some delays here. You're manifesting. Knight of Pentacles in reverse can be... I don't see the results, but they're wanting you to be patient. And meanwhile, focus on you, your passions. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Your business. We have marriage. You two will find peace and happiness. Love each other wholeheartedly. And no matter what challenges might carry you, guys apart, you will find each other. What advice do you have for Gemini in regards to their love life? May 2022. Be vulnerable and speak up. Don't be afraid of being vulnerable with this person. They're very emotional. And they'll understand you. It's very compassionate. It's almost empathetic energy. May even have psychic intuitive abilities, whoever this person is you're attracting. But they want you to be vulnerable speak up when you meet this person some of you've already met them happiness happiness is your advice they're saying say no say no to toxic connections say no to tainted offers and any influences around you that are harmful Healthier love, healthy choices. Focus on happiness. Do you see the sunflower? Do you see the yellow? And we have the queen of wands. Happiness is surrounding you. They're saying positive energy is flowing around you and within you. Stay optimistic. There's a lot of good coming your way. <laughs> you have no idea. I don't think you see all these blessings coming your way. Overall well-being, happiness. What advice do you have for Gemini? Uh, that's too many. One more. You know. And justice will be served. And do you see that? We have manifestation, commitment. Wow. Okay. We have soulmate. True love is finding its way to you. Commitment. You may get engaged or fully dedicate yourself to something that will be long-lasting. Marriage. You have to have faith. Manifesting. You're manifesting rapidly. Your dreams and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. Don't give up. Justice. Justice will be done to those who oppose you. The truth will be revealed. Bottom deck energy. Some of you are coming out of a long-term relationship. Some karmic lessons here. World four of ones. This can be a divorce, but there's someone better if that is the case. And others of you, 
long-term commitment. I didn't even see the bottom deck energy. Look at this. Four of Wands, the world. This combination talks about celebration, the skills being balanced, you receiving positive karma, right? Justice will be served in the form of a new relationship, long-term commitment. You have a lot of good coming your way, Gemini. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.